in this presentation you are going to learn all about WMO let's start WMO stands for the World Meteorological Organization the WMO is one of the specialized agencies of the United Nations which works to promote international cooperation on atmospheric science, climatology, hydrology, and geophysics. Within its mandate in the areas of weather, climate, and water, WMO focuses on many different aspects and issues from observations, information exchange, and research to weather forecasts and early warnings, from capacity development and monitoring of greenhouse gases to application services and much much more. Let's move on. Formation The WMO was established by ratifying the WMO Convention on 23rd March 1950 and WMO became the specialized agency of the United Nations. However, it originated from the International Meteorological Organization, IMO, the roots of which were planted at the 1873 Vienna International Meteorological Congress. Headquarters The headquarters of the WMO is in Geneva, Switzerland and is headed by the Secretary General. Its supreme body is the World Meteorological Congress composed of the member states which meets every four years to set policies and priorities. Let's move on. Members of WMO WMO has 187 member states and 6 member territories. Members are divided into 6 regions. Africa, Asia, South America, North America, Central America and Caribbean. Southwest Pacific and Europe. World Meteorological Day World Meteorological Day is celebrated annually on 23rd March. Objectives WMO is dedicated to international cooperation and coordination on the state and behavior of the Earth's atmosphere, its interaction with the land and oceans, the weather and climate it produces and the resulting distribution of water resources. National Meteorological and Hydrological Services work around the clock to monitor Earth systems and provide vital weather and climate information worldwide. Their early and reliable warnings of severe weather and fluctuations in air quality as well as the climate variability and change allow decision makers communities and individuals to be better prepared for weather and climate events. Their warnings help save life and property, protect resources and the environment and support socio-economic growth. WMO supports national meteorological and hydrological services with this work and in meeting their international commitments in the areas of disaster risk reduction, climate change mitigation and adaption and sustainable development. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic. Till then, keep watching Narvi Academy.